Behind us here we have uh, Fugro Secor, the contractor for the foundation installation package. Uh, the vessel is actually fully loaded and mobilised, ready to go to sites. And at this stage we're just currently waiting on a, a good weather window. Once we're at sites, we'll jack this vessel up in location and raise the deck above the sea surface. From there, we're going to actually drill into uh, the ocean floor to approximately 14 meters depth, where we'll actually then insert a steel foundation. The foundation is approximately 14 meters long and about 1.8 meters diameter. Once we have the foundation in location, we'll then jack the vessel back down and move to the next location and repeat the process of installing the next foundation. So the operations we got going on today is our pipeline lay. So we've got all the pipe reels on the barge. Uh, they're slowly getting laid into the water as the barge moves out, out to our lease area. Yesterday we did the pipeline pull through this conduit in the water here. Pulled it up through with a cable, ended up on top of the bank up there, on top of our uh, quarry area, where we're going to have the uh, wave energy site where the power generation will be made. Installation of the intake pool for the destination plant, as you see the drilling rig uh, on the very behind. And um, here you can see that we basically prepare already the pad for the um, side walls. And uh, these guys here are preparing the um, conduit for the uh, P-Web pipeline. Basically we use this conduit to run through the um, hydraulic hydraulic uh, pipeline from the onshore facility to the offshore boy, offshore facility. And after that, we will uh, basically start uh, the um, construction here of the foundation of, for the uh, building. There will be basically a shed for the web and all the planes that we need to allocate uh, office and uh, in, the in the desalination plant itself. So the plant production will be about 150 cubic meters uh, per day of uh, permeable water and we will pump this water directly to uh, the defense. They took a while to build. They were, I think, uh, six months in construction in Vietnam. And um, yeah, a bit of a hassle shipping something that big. So it, it was a bit of a relief to get them here and to get them set up. And yeah, now they sit and get ready to get deployed. We've installed what's called the HD, which is the hydraulic dampener, which goes in the center of the, the BAs to, to dampen their motions in extreme sea states so that the, the tether loads don't get too high. So it's a big hydraulic cylinder basically that mounted from the outside and we dropped it in the top and currently bolting it in the bottom. Just one today. Uh, sort of a, really a dry run. It, it's, it's actually a real precision fit, so the idea is to do one and just make sure to iron out any issues with the installation, make sure there aren't any problems, and then roll on to the other two. So, and everything went really well, so it's all good. Yesterday we were using the hoses and connecting them to the pump and the foundation connector. So joining the gap across the universal joint and flexing the pump back and forth to check the movement of the hoses just to check that they don't touch anything and they don't bend too much. The array plant work package is uh, consisting of the pods, the mud mats and the neon hydraulic skid. The pods are hydraulic module basically with valving accumulation and pipe work that sits subsea next to the unit, controls the flows and pressure from the unit. The mud mat sits on the seabed underneath the pod to provide it a, uh, a stable um, footing basically um, when it's deployed and the onshore hydraulic skid in it includes all our hydraulic circuitry onshore, the hydraulic motor running the generators, the accumulation of the valves, the pipe work and that's all being constructed uh, by Tenix in Quinan. The onshore plant is largely um, generating electricity from hydraulic energy which is produced from it by our CETO wave energy converters. Uh, the process control system is automating that generation. It's also collecting data uh, to control that process and also collecting data from the, the remainder of the process, so all the subsea elements as well. So my work package um, 
Well, the generation side of things is, is right at the end of the process where we're converting hydraulic energy into electricity and then transmitting that to the grid. The control system sits above all the other packages and is used to automate all of those and, and acquire data from all of those. So under the instrumentation package, um, it's putting together all the sensors in the uh, buoyant actuator. So that's including the pressure sensors, the GPS, the, uh, the 3G modules and the antennas that are, are communicating with the onshore plant. Um, and uh, yeah, various cabling involved in connecting all the bits and pieces together. So the next steps will be to, um, after testing's complete and after we're happy with everything working, um, will be to fit them onto the BA and uh, test again, lots of testing just to make sure it's working and then hopefully deploy with success.